Hello everyone, we are back here, actually in the back country, uh, we are in Hope, BC. So I was thinking to review my rooftop tent, that is free st uh, spirit recreation, and uh, it's a high country. The largest model, about 80 inches, uh, so four sleeps very comfortably, and you can uh, have a child with you if you are pretty good in sleeping in the tent so that can work but four adults sleep very comfortably average size adults will sleep very comfortably so i wanted to review this from the day one i got it but i thought it will not be a good review unless i use it so i used it for about uh, close to two, two years now uh, i bought this in uh, uh, before summer 2022 so now it's about one year, eight months, I've been using this. And uh, it held pretty well, very good quality tent. So we will go step by step. There are so many other reviews out there. Uh, you can check specs and everything with them as well. But uh, I am just going to share my own experience with this tent, uh, with family of four, camping in it on a road trip. So I will just open step by step and then I will show you how it is so first thing first the the cover they have with it that is really very solid cover it's not the flimsy uh, like very thin one it's it's very solid cover uh, buckles are really good now it they, they came a little loose um, not because of the quality it's it's i was kind of when i used it last time i never went all the way tight so here we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and 11, 12 on the other side. 11 and 12. So when it comes to like opening and closing this tent yeah definitely two people will be best but if i am alone i don't find it hard kind of uh, opening it up and closing it um it's uh, it's good so as you can see now i am just doing it on my on myself um on my own uh it's not uh, as difficult at the end maybe in a separate video I will show you the actual time for opening and closing this so that uh, you can have the exact idea without rushing how long it takes to open and close it. So let's take this off. Okay, now this is off and it, it doesn't take too long. Let's say if we, you take about three minutes to take the cover off, maximum, but it's less. Once you grab the ladder here and make sure these are the all uh, sporting uh, 
bars here. So when, as soon as we pull out, they fall down. So what we need to do is put it back. Take these bars off. I will leave those here. Now it's pretty easy to pull this out. Just a small pull down. There we go. You can see. So now pull this out. It's not heavy. Like I will not say like it's it's super light, but it's not as heavy that you cannot manage it. So go like this. Here we go. So adjust the height. Here we go. So it's all good. And now it's the time to open our front entrance of the truck, oh sorry, for, so, uh, of the tent, and the sports. The only tip I would like to give you guys as I was going to pull out the tent and then all the sports were going to fall out. That's what happened when I broke one of, uh, one of the front entrance sports and uh, that costed me a little bit of money. It's not the cheap quality, but it fell from the top uh, on the edge on the hard surface and this thing broke so you can get away with one but ideally if you want your tent to last longer then then it's good to have proper sports so it does not get bent or something so first thing we will do the sports at the bottom and I will show you how strong it is built but that is I am just going to demonstrate for to let you guys know like how strong it is but that is meant not meant for that purpose uh, so we have two of those small sports for the front entrance on the top and two of these ones uh, for the sides so Let's do these first. A little bit more. Yes, excellent. So go in here. Here we go, there are two holes in here. So it fits pretty well. So now you can see it's all sturdy. Ladder has good sport. Then these ones, these are not the kind of cheap aluminum, uh, alum, uh, like cheap quality aluminum, it's very good quality. So, a little longer, one more notch down. Uh, yes, this is excellent. So, you can go pretty much anywhere like this. Sometimes, this is just Barely enough, if you go too much, then it gets higher. So what I do is usually fit this in hole and then go one more notch and adjust it. Now, because it is extended like about four or more feet outwards, but it has very strong sports these are not the cheap ones even ladder is not the cheap one this frame is very strong i am 90 kilograms this is not recommended but i just want to show because if you're going to be in there you can even hang here so you can see it it, it takes my weight pretty easily so it's don't let your kids do this but this is <laughs> this is what i want to show you guys the strength is pretty good so now we will go up and use these two the way it works is the top frame if you see this part has a frame rail same kind of pipe and 
we are going to tuck this this hand in there and then extend this part outwards and it will make entrance pretty open wide open and very comfortable to get in and out let's jump up and uh, do this part okay I like to do this from here actually it has small telescoping pin here press this and extend it outwards let it go then do the same thing on the other end do not do the one and all the way up and then try to do the other one because then it get crooked and it's hard to pull those up together do a little bit on each side then do it and now as you can see this rod up here that's the main frame open this clip here put this click then it goes in here click and then simply close this clip here we go so that's the way to do it and the other side same thing click it pull it outside then now look at that how good it is here we go so this is the front entrance and uh, let's walk around then we will jump in and I will show you very very good features which I love about practical rooftop tenting which is going to help us this tent um, I believe whoever, whoever designed this tent they put a lot of thought uh, about uh, practical use of uh, this tent while we are out in the back country so let's walk around if you're wondering what is this this is very important thing I will show you <laughs> when I jump in uh, so let's uh, come around if we look at the side as you can notice the tent is made of uh, all insulated material um, every layer has some sort of insulation in it and uh, the windows windows are all around it has five windows front door has a window front entrance has a window I mean and uh, then the side this is mesh window but you can open it from inside I will show you from the inside as well like if you open this then even there should be a zipper maybe it's on the other side so then these are not the cheap zippers they are good quality zippers and uh, um, you can have the mesh on if there are so many bugs or mos mosquitoes uh, but if it's a good breezy summer night then you can leave all open and sleep as is and if we come around same thing a window here and uh, it opens up with the mesh or without mesh you can open it the way you want and uh, it has very good quality rain fly on it which is very helpful and practical I have slept in this tent close to zero degrees and uh, with rain so no leaks at all it is very awesome and it's warm inside and one window is on the top like if you're um, using this tent in summer you can take off the rain fly and uh, then leave the top window open as well same thing with the front side window it's big size opens with or without mesh and now when we 
when we go up now look at our entrance it is so good and uh, even if you look at the design the, 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 the way they designed it if you're sleeping or sitting or reading in there there is a window in the front and then they put a plastic window with good quality plastic on top of this entrance so if you're leaving that window open you can see the sky through it here we go so now I will jump in but uh, what I do is I preferably when I go in um, I have my flip-flops on in, instead of shoes because then it gets too much to take shoes off and all that let's jump in and um, Here we go. I feel pretty safe sitting here, so it's not. <laughs> I, I never had any concern that it will collapse or something. So, this thing, this is super practical. If you're coming up with your flip flops or the shoes, then you get in the tent and throw your flip flops or the shoes on the ground, then you're coming down bare feet on this ladder. I can tell you, it's not comfortable to go bare feet on this ladder. Yes, you can do it, but it is not comfortable. Like you're getting off uh, early in the morning uh, to use the washroom or something. As soon as you step bare feet on these ones, I, I don't think you will be able to sleep because it will make you wide awake with this, uh, doing this uh, <laughs> bare feet. So let's uh, not talk too much. So, so here we go. We, you can put your flip flops in here and even they have that small string you can make it tight but I, I don't think we need that but if we look at the design your flip flops are wet or dirty they have a mesh at the bottom so if not all some dirt or water will come out of here and this is small tool, toolbox you can what I will use it for a uh, knife or uh, flashlight or something that will go in here and if you have my socks are clean but if you have dirty socks and they smell you can leave them outside in this socks pocket and you don't have to take your dirty socks in and smell it all night here we go <laughs> yeah I know the drill you know like you're hiking all day and then you're coming back to this tent with all these sweaty socks it will not be good okay so same thing same drill with this side so now let's jump in and I will show you around what's in here you can roll this up put this through and here we go same thing on the other side roll this up through the loop and it is very uh, good loop and here we go so now it's all set right now we are in here I would like to show you guys all the windows like this top window is you cannot open the mesh but it has same insulated opening right here now it is closed and what I do is when I pack the tent I always leave this open reason being is when you close it because it is all uh, insulated material it's hard for the air to escape and when all air is filled up and then you fold it it's pretty uh, it, it gets difficult to kind of compress it down so if the windows are open a little bit if you noticed when we jumped in this window was open this is a little bit open this is open and even I left this open when I packed it up uh, the reason being is when we are kind of closing it then when uh, like air escapes from it so that way it is easier to close it so let's have a look at the windows if we look at this window right here as I was talking about, look at this, look at this view. 
So now you are inside your tent, you are sleeping or eating or whatever you are doing. Summertime, you have fresh air coming in, you're, you don't feel all suffocated with this good quality insulated material. Here we go. So if you have so many bugs in the area, then you can close this. You can still have the fresh air. So this is one side and it has good quality hooks here, right here and two pockets. If you're wondering, and then there's another hook. If you're wondering what this white thing is, that is just added feature. Uh, someone might think it's bell and whistle, but I think it is practically very useful if you are uh, using it. And same thing with the backside window. Same way it opens up. Let me show you here. It opens up and you feel like you are sleeping outside. There we go. I should not close it all the way because I might forget them. Okay. I will leave this little bit open and here we go. So, same drill with this window. Here we go. And this is the front side. You can open the mesh or you can leave the mesh closed. That's up to you. And if we, if we want to have a close look at the material, this is, this has some insulation in here. So, I am saying this over and over again because I have used this one and it never disappointed me. Even now it's cold outside as you can see. There is some snow around. Um, I guess it's close to two degrees today. Um, but I don't feel cold here. And now these pockets and this, USB wire is hanging. I never bring my lithium cube in here, but I just uh, wanted to show you guys because I, I don't have my power bank with me today, the small one. So, if we look at this, just put it to the any USB power supply. And look at this. And the beauty about this is, this is all Velcro. You can take this off. Okay, as I am, I'm just kind of using this temporarily because it, this wire is short and I don't have any extension today. So usually what we do when we are camping outside, like out in the bush or somewhere in the campsite. So, this is all hooked up here. <clears throat> and um, usually I leave this in my canopy, in the truck bed, and then I run a um, power supply uh, extension which has USB and uh, actual power outlet, and I run it through here. So this, this is a small zipped uh, cut here which we can use for um, any wires we need to bring in uh, for the power, light, or even if you have a heated blanket, you can leave your main power source outside in the canopy or outside on the ground. Then you can bring small power line up here and then you can sleep here comfortably. So, and uh, this has some uh, extra tools in here, like because this is, all uh, made of lots of uh, uh, screws, bolts and everything. So they have provided with a lot of extra bolts. If we lose some, even screwdriver, Allen key and uh, instructions. So this is all here and plus they have extra repair patches along with the 
the adhesive. It has repair glue instructions and if we want to look at the quality of the insulation, even look at this. This will give you a pretty good idea. So they have given us these patches. If you want to look at the insulation, you can see. Practically it is an insulated tent with this material. Look at this. So this is all around uh, this tent. The whole material, it is made of this insulated material. This is very good example to see what's inside. So when we are using a regular tent, we are sleeping in, when we are sleeping in non-insulated tents, then probably we are sleeping in this layer only. So now we have two synthetic layers filled with this good quality insulation. So they have provided us with a couple of patches and even they have provided with, look at this material only. This is kind of simple like if we need to repair a cut or um, something but this is if we have to patch some big area, a hole or something then we can use this. So they provided us with the two insulated patches and then many one, two, three, four, five, six, seven um, non-insulated uh, patches for the repair of the cuts and all that. Plus uh, with the adhesive glue and a brush to apply the glue. So very thoughtful um, to have all these along with the tent. Whoever designed it, I really appreciate that. And plus, then up here, uh, the guy wires, uh, pegs, and extra shoes for your ladder. So everything is inside. And I always leave these inside uh, because it's you don't want to leave it outside somewhere when because you there are, there are good chances that you might forget it. Here we go. So I guess so. This gives uh, you the good idea how to use the telescopic ladder. Have all the instructions are in here. So I always leave this by bedside on this corner or that corner. This way it does not interrupt when we are when we are putting together the tent. So so guys, this is pretty much about it. Okay, here we go. That's what I was talking about. So now we are coming down, but you are not kind of uh, barefoot. Here we go. Okay folks, this is all about our FSR high country tent. And um, beauty about this one is uh, because we've been camping from years now, like ever since I can say. And uh, this tent is approved by my daughter, my son, he's recording. And even that is approved by my wife. So you know that to get things approved from wife is the difficult thing. And if she can approve it, then uh, you can. You have to believe that this is a <laughs> this is really good tent. If you have any questions about this tent or any other rooftop tent, you want any suggestions, please uh, feel free to drop me a line in the comments. I will be uh, happy to help you guys. At least I can give my input and thoughts from my own experiences. I am not a pro, but. Uh, I love to help and that's why I share those videos with you guys and uh, if you have not subscribed yet then uh, if you feel this video was helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe it. Uh, other thing I want to share is these days we are so consumed by 
corporation and uh, the commercialization and everything. So we need to get out, out of those commercial, uh, sorry, concrete jungles and out of those screens. We need to get out of those. Yeah, we should uh, use social media and everything uh, uh, for, uh, for information. We should not be addicted. We should not be scrolling all the time. That's what I went through, like, you know, like, there were times, like, I will be kind of consumed into it and keep scrolling, keep swiping, and one thing after the other one, um, and then I will go in guilt, like, how much time I wasted, and uh, this is how um, the AI and everything is going on, and I, I will not, I, I don't use hate word, but I absolutely hate all those things now, and I believe that old good days were better because it's good to have the technology but now we are slaves to it nowadays corporations cannot have physical slaves they cannot make anyone slave physically but now we are mentally slaves because we we are so consumed we see what they want to show us we buy what they want to sell us so we need to kind of work on ourselves like I, I don't mind if you disagree with it, with it, but I have to say it because I feel that pain. It's good to own the equipment. Like it's been ever since, like when you are going out, even like long time ago when the all exploration started, equipment was always needed. But all the bells and whistles, all the fancy stuff, uh, even now recreation is on the sale. Like you have to um, kind of pay someone to do something. Why we are not ourselves connected to all this nature out here? So let's work on this collectively and pass this message along that we need to connect with our human instinct again because AI, all the advanced technology, they are snatching our human instinct from us. So I know it's, it's kind of off the topic, but you know, like, I, I feel for it, so that's why I expressed it. Um, that's pretty much about it. And if again, if you have any questions about this tent, please uh, feel free to share your thoughts, questions or anything. Uh, and keep exploring, stay, stay connected with nature and human instinct. Thank you so much. Thank you.